Our video tutorial is about circular functions. We define a unit circle as a circle where the center is found at the origin of the rectangular coordinate system and its radius is equal to 1 unit. So this is our unit circle with radius equal to 1 and a point P x y is on the circle. A right triangle is formed with sides x and y. This is the equation of this unit circle with center at the origin. If the radius is equal to 1, so this is the equation. And another other points of the intersection of the circle and the coordinate system. A central angle is an angle whose vertex rests on the center of a circle and its sides are a die of the same circle. So this is the central angle and this is the arc with length S. Arc length is equal to radius times central angle. If the radius is equal to 1, so the arc has length equal to the central angle theta. So arc length is in regions and central angle theta in degrees. So to convert degrees to region, multiply by pi over 180 degrees. So for example, convert 90 degrees in regions. This is our 90 degrees and this is the arc with length S. The length of the arc is obtained by multiplying 90 degrees by pi over 180 degrees. So cancel out, simplify. So the arc length is pi over 2 radian. To convert regions to degrees, multiply by 180 degrees over pi. So to convert pi over pi region in degrees, multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Cancel out and divide. So this is our 36 degrees and its arc length is pi over 5. Angle st in standard position. Supposing we have an angle formed by moving this initial side to the terminal side in a counterclockwise direction. So this angle is positive. On the other hand, if the, this initial side is moved or rotated in a clockwise direction, the angle form is negative angle. Then let us define the six circular functions of a unit circle with this Triangle formed by point P with the hypotenuse equal to the radius equal, equal to 1 unit. So, sine of angle theta is defined as opposite over hypotenuse. So, y over r, r is equal to 1. So, sine theta is equal to y. Cosine is defined as adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is x over hypotenuse r. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Cosecant is just the inverse of sine theta. So inverse of y is 1 over y. Secant theta is just the inverse of cosine. Inverse of x is 1 over x. And contangent of angle theta is just the inverse of tangent. Inverse of y over x. Okay. Find the values of the six circular functions of theta given that the terminal point is negative square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2. So here is our point with its coordinate. So a right triangle form with the sides x and y as the coordinate of the point. So our sine theta is equal to sine of angle theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 1, so it's equal to y. y is equal to square root over, of 2 over 2. Cosecant is just the inverse of sine theta. Cosecant theta is inverse of sine theta. Inverse of square root of 2 over 2 is 2 over square root of 2. Rationalize and simplify. So it is equal to square root of 2. Cosine of angle theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Secant theta is just the inverse of cosine theta. Inverse of negative square root of 2 over 2 is negative 2 over square root of 2. And rationalize. So that is negative square root of 2. Tangent of angle theta is opposite over adjacent. Substitute the value of x and y. Simplify. Cancel out. So it is equal to negative 1. And 
cotangent theta is just the inverse of tangent theta. Inverse of negative 1 is equal to negative 1. Values of the basic circular functions for certain acute angles. So we have here an equilateral triangle with sides equal to 2 units. And so the triangles is equal to 60 degrees. Suppose we construct an altitude. The height of this altitude is uh, the opposite side is bisected with it is equal to one and one units each. So this altitude is determined using by the Pythagorean theorem. So two square minus one square is equal to square root of three. So this is square root of three. And this angle is half of 60 degrees, is 30 degrees. So sine of 30, rather 60 degrees, sine of 60 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. So square root of 3 over 2. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so square root of 3 over 1. And sine of 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees is adjacent over square root of, or rather is hypotenuse. Uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, so square root of 3 over 2. Tangent of 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent, so 1 over square root of 3. And rationalize square root of 3 over 3. Another figure, a square with side equal to 1, then a uh, diagonal is constructed. And this length is obtained by using the Pythagorean theorem. D is square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square, so it is square root of 2. So this length is square root of 2. So this angle is 45 degrees. So sine of 45 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. Same rationalize. And cosine of 45 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. Rationalize. And tangent of 45 degrees is opposite over adjacent. Or 1 over 1 is equal to 1. We have here... A uh, unit circle in a coordinate system, we have so crita plus. That means, so means sine in upper quadrants is positive. Sine in upper quadrants is positive. So this is the sine in upper quadrants. Upper quadrants is one and quadrants one and two. Cosine cry means cosine in right quadrants positive. So this is the, the right quadrants are quadrant one and quadrant four. Tangent in alternate quadrants is positive. So this uh, uh, tangent is positive in quadrant one and three. Okay. Give the six circular functions of angle theta generated by an arc whose length is 5 pi over 6. So this is our unit circle. Let us determine how many degrees is 5 pi over 6. Multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Cancel out and divide. So it is 150 degrees. So here is our 150 degree angle. It is equivalent to 5 pi over 6. And our reference angle is 30 degrees. Okay, so we have here our common value of 30 and 60 degree angle. So the sine of angle theta, which is equal to sine of 5 pi over 6 or equal to sine of 150 degrees uh, or the reference angle of 150 degrees is 30 degrees. And we have here 30 degrees, its sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. Cosecant theta is just the inverse of sine theta. Inverse of 1 half is equal to 2. So, uh, cosine theta, cosine of 5 pi over 6 or cosine of 150 degrees. But the cosine in the secant quadrant is negative. On the cosine at the right quadrants is positive. So in the second quadrant, it is negative. So we have your negative. And reference angle of 150 degrees is 30 degrees. So cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. So it is negative square root of 3 over 2. Second theta is just the inverse of 
cosine theta, inverse of negative square root of 3 over 2 is negative 2 over square root of 3. And rationalize, simplify, so it is negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Tangent of angle theta is the same as tangent of 5 pi over 6. And 5 pi over 6 is 150 degrees. And tangent in the second quadrant is negative. So we have negative. And 150 degrees, its reference angle is 30 degrees. Tangent of 30 degrees. So tangent of 30 is opposite over adjacent. So 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize. So this is our value of tangent of 5 pi over 6. Cotangent theta is just the inverse of tangent theta. So inverse of negative Square root of 3 over 3 is this one. And rationalize. So, the value of cotangent of 5 pi over 6 is negative square root of 3. Next, suppose S is a real number such that sine S is equal to negative 3 over 7 and second of angle S is negative or less than zero, find tangent is. Okay, so this is our unit circle. And sine of angle is, is negative and sine is positive in the first and second. So it must not be in the first and second. And second is, second of angle is, is negative and the Second is opposite of, or rather inverse of cosine. And cosine is positive in the right quadrants. So it must be in the third quadrant. So this is our angle S. The sine of angle S is opposite over hypotenuse. This is negative 3 over 7. And this side here, the length of this side, is taken from the Pythagorean theorem. 7 square minus 3 square. Since this length is on the left, to the left of the origin along the x-axis, so this we take the negative value. Simplify. So negative, this length is negative 2 square root of 10. Then our tangent of angle S is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is negative 3 over negative 2 square root of 10. Then Rationalize, simplify, so this is the value of tangent of angle is 3 square root of 10 over 20. Next, find the values of the six circular functions of angle theta whose terminal side is at 3 pi over 4. Let us determine how many degrees is 3 pi over 4. Multiply it by 180 degrees over pi, cancel and divide, so it is 135 degrees. Here is a 135 degree angle. And its reference angle is equal to 45 degrees. 180 minus 135 is 45. Next. And the 45 degrees is taken from a square with sides equal to 1. And the sine of theta or sine of 3 pi over 4 or it is equal to sine of 135 degrees and the reference angle of 135 degrees is 45 the sine of 45 is 1 over hypotenuse so 1 over square root of 2 rationalize it is equal to square root of 2 over 2 the cosecant of angle theta is just the inverse of sine of theta inverse of sine of 3 pi over 4 or inverse of Square root of 2 over 2 is 2 over square root of 2. Rationalize, it is equal to square root of 2. Next, cosine of angle theta is equal to 3. Cosine of 3 pi over 4 equal to. Since the angle is, the reference angle is in the second quadrant and cosine is only positive at the right quadrant. So cosine here is negative and its reference angle is 45 degrees. So cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over hypotenuse. So negative 1 over square root of 2 and rationalize. So it is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Second of angle theta or second of 3 pi over 4 is just the inverse of cosine 
of 3 pi over 4, inverse of negative square root of 2 over 2, rationalize, so it is equal to negative square root of 2. Next, tangent of angle theta or tangent of 3 pi over 4, or the tangent, since the reference angle is in the second quadrant and our tangent is negative, only in the first and third is positive. So we have here a negative sign and the reference angle of 135 is 45 degrees. Tangent of 45 is 1 over 1, so it is equal to negative 1. And cotangent of angle theta is just the inverse of tangent of angle theta. Inverse of negative 1 is negative 1. Use reference angles to find the exact values of the six circular functions given the function cotangent of 210 degrees. So here is our 210 degrees. It's, it is found in the third quadrant and its reference angle is 30 degrees. So we have here the common value. So cotangent of 210 degrees is equal to the reference angle of 210 is 30 degrees and it is in the third quadrant and tangent is positive in third quadrant so it is positive and cotangent of 30 degrees is in a cotangent is inverse of tangent so we have 1 over tangent 30 degrees and tangent 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent simplify so, cotangent 210 degrees is square root of 3. Next, tangent 210 degrees is just the inverse of cotangent 210 degrees. So, inverse of square root of 3 is 1 over square root of 3 and rationalize. So, that is square root of 3 over 3. Sine of 210. Sine is positive at the upper quadrants and in the third quadrant it is negative. Sine of 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, so negative 1 half. Cosecant 210 degrees is just inverse of sine 210 degrees, so inverse of negative 1 half is negative 2. Cosine of 210 degrees, its reference angle is 30 degrees, but cosine is negative in the third quadrant, only in first and fourth quadrant cosine is positive. Cosine of 30 degrees, that is adjacent over hypotenuse or square root of 3 over 2. And secant 210 degrees is just the reciprocal of negative square root of 3 over 2. Rationalize, so that is negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Next, find the values of the other 5 circular functions of sine theta equals 12 over 13. And lies, uh, if sine theta is equal to 12 over 13 and lies in the second quadrant. So here in the second quadrant, this is the sine of angle theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So this side can be obtained using the Pythagorean theorem. Simplify and extract the square root. This length, which is to the left of the origin along the x-axis, we take the negative square root of 25. So it is negative 5. This is negative 5. So, cosecant theta is just the inverse of sine theta. So inverse of 12 over 13 is 13 over 12. Cosine of angle theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So negative 5 over 13. Uh, secant theta is just the inverse of cosine theta, so uh, negative 13 over 5. Tangent of angle theta is opposite over adjacent, so 12 over negative 5. Cotangent of angle theta is inverse of tangent theta, negative 5 over 12. That's all.